really got to want a story. I think you either have that or you don't. Would it be fair to characterize that story as wrong? Yes. We went back to our sources. We're confident in the story. If you pick on one of us, it means you have to deal with all the unique moments in the history. Because the president, the president of the United States, who is okay. under federal authority, I mean, hate you. Guys. That is a story. So, fake news or real news? That's one of the debates sparked by President Trump. One outlet drawing fire from the White House is the president's own hometown newspaper, The New York Times. Now, The Fourth Estate, a new Showtime four-part documentary, gives us an unprecedented behind-the-scenes view of this legendary newspaper in action, while focusing on how the journalists at The New York Times cover the Trump administration. Co-director, producer Jenny Karchman joins me now to talk about all of this. Jenny, pleasure having you here. Great to be us. here. Thank you. Thanks. It, it is a great piece of filmmaking. Thank you so much. Um, and and it is a, a compelling and an intriguing bit of filmmaking. So my first question to you as a filmmaker is, where did the idea come from? Right. So um, Liz Garbus, who the series was her idea, she was on Twitter in November, November twenty second, right after the president elect um, came into office, he was elected, Trump went to have a meeting with the New York Times. And Maggie Haberman, who's also in our series, who right. is a White House correspondent, was live tweeting about the, um, the meeting. And um, Liz, as she was following the, the tweets that were coming out of the meeting, she thought, wouldn't it be great to be a fly on the wall at the New York Times during that meeting? That was the impetus for the series. She then got in touch with the New York Times and asked them, could I come in and could I film the first year of this presidency? How are you going to cover it? And to our astonishment, they said yes. Why were you astonished? Because the New York Times is uh, the holy grail of newspapers. It is the paper of record to allow an outsider to come in and see how they do it, to see their process, to see um, what they go through every day in order to get an article out seems like it might be private. It might They may not want the public to be in on those conversations. Um, but they said yes, and they said yes because they said people should see this process. The question always for a filmmaker is access. Right. What kind of access are, am I going to be given here? But, and it seems like you were given an extraordinary right. range of access. Were you surprised by that? Yes, we basically were given carte blanche. We, Dean Bacay, the executive editor of the paper, said, you can come in. It is up to the reporters and editors personally to decide whether or not they want to participate. So you need to go and forge those relationships and, and see how people feel about being filmed, which we did. Mm -hmm. um, the rules were that we could not reveal any sources. Mm -hmm. We would delete... Um, anything that was said, a pronoun of a source, we would have to delete it immediately. Just and to protect the source. Just to and protect that's the source. Legitimate journalism. That that were those were the guidelines, and um, and that was it. Yeah. And sometimes people said, "We're going to have a conversation, and we don't want you to come in this room." And we would film them closing the door behind us. So it was clear that they had asked for that space, and we were showing that on camera. W were there many people at all who said, "Absolutely not." Yes. Okay. There were people who said, absolutely not, no way. And we kept showing up. I mean, we were there all the time, all the time. And I think after a certain period of months, those people actually said, okay, yes, you can film us. And there were people also who said, yes, you can film. And then at a certain point, they said, absolutely not, no more, I'm done. We talk about this often with filmmakers. You take us on a journey, but you're on a journey yourself right. here, a journey of discovery. What did you discover that surprised you the most? So many things. I had never been in a newsroom before, personally. So there was just the whole process of how an article gets written, how something is sourced, how it is edited, how it is discussed. Words are discussed. The lead is discussed. The headline is discussed. Um, the source, the, the process of vetting every single article was fascinating. What I saw was um, the care and the the diligence and also the, the perfection that these people, you know, experience on a day-to-day -day basis. Let me ask you in, in terms of just human relations. It's an organization that's under constant attack by the Trump administration. Whether you agree with that or not, 
Right. It's a fact that it's under constant right. attack, whether you think they deserve it or not. Different issue. Constant attack. Did you get a sense from, from the reporters, the editors, the people who were part of this, that they took that personally? Yes, they're humans. So, yes, I think there's always a level of we're going to be under such scrutiny all the time that regard, regardless, we have to get it right, but we have to get it so right. Well, it is, as I said in the very beginning, it, it, you take us on a marvelous journey. Thank you. Uh, it, it, was, it was marvelous work, the best of filmmaking. And thank you. Jenny, I want to thank you for spending some time with us. Thank you. Great film. Thanks so much. Good. Thank you. And a reminder for you out there, The Fourth Estate concludes this Sunday night on Showtime at 8 p.m. You can visit us at metrofocus.org for more information on the show.